Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I want to talk about how letters work while your spouse is in boot camp. So if your spouse is in boot camp right now, odds are you're either waiting for that first letter that you get from them or you're trying to figure out how to write a letter to them and what is able to go into those letters. So, the first letter that you should get for them, or at least how it worked for me, was about two to three weeks afterwards. It's more of like a they have to earn it type of thing. And it helps them in the beginning get in the right mindset if they're not able to hear from their family members just yet. So, they wait about two to three weeks until the recruits are able to send their first letter. So... Odds are, you'll get a letter that looks something like this. I've got a whole stack of them. Um, and those first emotions that you're going to feel are absolutely insane. You're going to be so happy. You're going to be overjoyed. I didn't cry, but I've heard a lot of my friends that are military spouses that they cried when they got that first letter because it's kind of like you had that person here for however long y'all have been dating and then it was like a band-aid okay and it was just kind of ripped off and now they're not here and not only are they not here but you can't talk to them it's only written letters so that first letter is extremely exciting and it makes you so happy um the first thing that you should know do not send provocative photos in these letters to your recruit odds are if their di's feel like there's something extra in there they will open it in front of everyone. And if you sent a provocative picture, everyone in his platoon is going to see that provocative picture and your recruit will get in trouble. Do not send them. Um, if you want to send something like sweeter, I used to, <laughs> I used to put on some lipstick and kiss the bottom of his page. And it was kind of sweet because it was like I was mailing him kisses. Super cheesy, super corny, but he loved it. So, and it, it helped him a lot, actually. So, that is one way to be super cute with these letters. Um, you can send pictures, but do not have them have it any like cleavage anything like that and just know that there is a chance that your picture could be used to have your recruit get made fun of and it's not I don't know I don't know how to explain that that's not as like bad as it sounds um <laughs> one of Chris's friends when a, someone in his platoon got a picture of his girlfriend and they took that picture, someone stole that picture from that person and taped it in the bathroom and wrote a nasty message on top of it with other stuff. So just be forewarned that... Things like that will happen and don't take it too personally if that does happen. Um, none of that happened to anything that I sent. The worst thing is me and Chris's family decided that on one of our Friday night dinners, everyone that was there was going to write like a small paragraph to him and then we were going to take a picture of each family and send it to him. So we sent it, but then he ended up getting sick. And so he still never got that, but we never got it returned. So who knows what happened to that, but you know. Um, for those of you that don't know, 
and because it's not as common today, don't feel bad if you don't know how to address your letter. All that you want to know is that your address will be right here, the sticker, and where the address is going will be right in this area. Sorry, my fingernails look disgusting. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put your name, your address, and then you're going to put like, let's say your city and then your state and then your zip code. That's how you address a letter. You're not going to be able to write your recruit letters until you get that first letter. And that's because when you get that first letter, that is when you get his address. Don't, they totally understand what is going on. Do not freak out and think that, oh my gosh, you're going to think that I don't love them because I haven't written them yet and blah, blah, blah. No, that is perfectly, that's perfectly normal. They understand that they need to send that first letter so that you can start writing them. Letters actually help your recruit so much. Like, it is actually a very, very, very important part of training. And if, let's say, you're six weeks into your training and you still haven't gotten a letter yet, your DI is going to ask you who hasn't gotten a letter and then they will make sure that you get a letter because it is that important. It is a crucial part of training. It is more of like the building you back up instead of the tearing you back down type thing. Um, so what to write in these letters for my recruit, he wanted long letters. So usually, I mean, there was a couple of times I wrote him I want to say like three or like three to five pages front and back. And don't, don't worry because at first it's going to be an, it's going to be awkward and you're not going to know exactly what to write about. So my tips for what to write about would be what you've been doing, what has been going on in your life and your family's life, the weather, believe it or not, you know, I live in Colorado. He went to San Diego. So, and he went like August through December. And so those are, you know, that's winter. So while he was in San Diego, it was still 60 degrees, but here it was like negative whatever degrees. And so telling him, you know, this was the temperature, it snowed, it rained, it whatever or you know we haven't had rain or we haven't done any of that that helps them so much because it gives them a picture of what home looks like another thing is if you live in like a small city or like the street that you live on tell them any new things that are happening are there any new houses that are being built is the city hall getting moved to a different building so just tell them those things because those are the things that they're going to want to know because when they come home, they don't want to come home to all these surprises. They kind of want to know what's been going on. And it helps them when you tell them what's going on at home. Also, do not tell them any family drama. Do not tell them if... Someone is mad at the other, like what someone else did to another person, because that makes them upset that they can't be home to help solve those problems. I know for me, I made that mistake one time, and I wrote something about it, and he came home ready to solve it. Well, that problem had already been solved, so... It was just kind of a big thing. Don't do that. My next piece of advice for you is make sure that you tell your recruit absolutely and positively how much you love them, how much you miss them, how like 
tell them how much they mean to you and all of these things because that's what they want to hear right now. They don't want to hear that you're doing all these cool, fun things without them. They want to hear how much you miss them, how much you love them, how much you think that they're handsome or pretty, how much all of these things, because odds are, in training, they're not, well, they're not getting told those things. They're getting told the opposite. And that's why your letters help them throughout these training processes, because it reassures them. Also, if there's like a big event that goes on, I know my recruit left, let's, I think it was four days before my birthday. And in that letter, tell them what you did for your birthday. Because I know for me, he was upset that he wasn't home to make that day special for me. So if you tell them like, you know, hey, that day was still special. Don't feel bad that you're not here. All of that. It'll make them feel better. And for some people, you're going to be like, no, that'll just make them feel worse. But it won't. It'll actually make them feel better. Do not write anything provocative. Don't write dirty letters. Don't do any of that. Because there are times where even if you didn't send anything extra, that those DIs will open that mail and read it to everyone in their platoon and if you wrote a dirty letter like that's your SOL man <laughs> and your recruit gets in trouble for that so just don't do that that can wait till afterwards just don't do it um those are I feel like I'm missing something oh Duh. One tip is to get a box. This is my box. It just kind of lifts up. And keep all of your writing stuff in this. I kept the paper I wrote with, the pen I wrote with, stamps, envelopes, and any letters that I got from him in this box. I've got quite a big stack. Yeah. Um, that way it's all together so you're not scrambling to find it. And when you get a letter back from him, those are really special memories to look back on. Me and William decided that we were going to look back on our letters, um, after his, like, one year of leaving just to kind of see, like, what we were feeling during that time because it's a sweet memory. So, keep that in a cute little box. Keep everything together. That way you don't lose anything because, believe it or not, stamps are very expensive. So, that's a tip. Um, there's a lot of people who say, oh, you're going to get a letter every day. Oh, you're going to get a letter all the time. No, you're not. Honestly, if you get a letter once a week, you're lucky because they're going through a lot of hard times right now and they don't always have time to write you. They get, I want to say like an hour to take care of any extra stuff that they need to a night, but that time can be taken away and when the DIs play games with them, that's most likely the first thing to go is that hour and that's the only hour that they can write or you know do other things to prepare for their next day so don't be upset if you don't get a letter it's completely normal they are so busy right now they are so busy working on themselves they are so busy preparing a future for y'all so don't be upset I think for the most part I got a letter once a week. Sometimes I got two letters a week, like one on Monday and then one on Saturday. But that's because the mail gets backed up 
especially if your recruit is going to San Diego, good luck. The mail system sucks. I don't know about Paris Island, but San Diego, it sucks. So, yeah. Um, there was a bunch of times where he would send, like, multiple letters in one envelope. So, if there's, like, two weeks that you haven't gotten a letter and then you get, like, a thick letter, just be prepared that you probably got more than one letter in that one envelope. Um, there was one time he wrote a whole notepad. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, a whole little notepad because when that hour gets taken away, they still want to write you, so they'll try and sneak it any way that they can. So that was how he did his, his this little notebook under his pillow. Um, yeah, so expect multiple letters, but during, I want to say, the like... I want to say in between phase two and phase three, field week, that was it. I didn't get a letter. Um, and in between phase two and phase three, I believe swim week, I also didn't get a letter, but that's because that's when they are the busiest. So do not be upset by that. You just got to keep doing your own thing. And if they're not sending you letters, that does not mean that you should quit sending them letters. You need to send them letters as much as you can. I tried to send a letter every day, but that kind of failed because I'm a college student. I'm working two jobs. It just, it kind of failed. Um... So, I would kind of write him more so every other day, and that was pretty good. Um, letters are going to get lost. His letters to you, your letters to him, whichever, they're going to get lost. So, just don't, don't fret about that, because the way that they deliver mail to the recruits is interesting, from what I've heard. So, yeah. Um... And then just make sure that you just keep sending those letters because those help them so much. That is their motivation to get through that week, to keep going. Mine consistently told me that he felt like, he just felt awful. He felt like crap. And then he got a letter and it just made his whole day. And, you know, if one of your recruit's buddies isn't getting letters, ask for his address too or his name and just write him a simple letter on like, you know, how good he's doing, how good of a friend he is to your recruit, how much your recruit talks about him because the people that don't get letters are, yeah. So just write those letters. Write any letters that you can. Have your family write them letters. I know that my mom wrote him letters. My mom wrote him letters as the dog. Like, we have this big white dog, Hulk. You saw him in my first video. And Hulk loves William. And she wrote an entire letter as Hulk to him. And it was just kind of like a funny, silly thing. But it actually made him laugh and it helped him. So, yeah. If this video helped you, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much, loves, for watching, and I hope that this helped you in any way possible. Thank you.